Welcome up. I'm recording this on the 11th of January. Yesterday, Sunday the 10th, Kazakhstan elected 98 out of 107 members of the Majlis, its House of Representatives. The remaining nine members are chosen by the Assembly of People of Kazakhstan, a political body chaired by Nursultan Nazarbayev and designed to represent the various ethnic groups of the country. What will happen in this election is not surprising, because the authorities have not allowed any party from the opposition to join the competition. Internet was blocked around the ballots, access was denied to polling stations, the demonstrations of activists were blocked by the police, and dozens were arrested. Officially, the voter turnout was assessed at 63.3% nationwide. Those effectively participating at these elections are, of course, Nurotan, the People's Party of Kazakhstan, AUIL's People's Democratic Patriotic Party, Actual Democratic Party, and the newest Adal. Nurotan is the biggest party of Kazakhstan. It has never lost an election since 1999, and at the previous election of 2016 has obtained 84 seats. Of course, it represents Nazarbayev's grip on power. In fact, the participants to this list are chosen by Yelbasi, the father of the nation himself, and the long-term ally and current president, Kasim Jomar Tokayev. Dariga Nazarbayeva is expected to enter the Majlis a few months after being dismissed as Speaker of the Senate, after her attempt to create a power base in the highest chamber of the parliament. Timur Kulibayev, Nazarbayev's son-in-law and one of the richest men of Kazakhstan, has decided to support Adal. While his indirect involvement in politics was never doubted due to his friendship with former Prime Minister Karim Masimov, Kulibayev's open support to a political force is rather new. So, why now? The answer lies in the way an election in Kazakhstan should be interpreted. This is not a way for citizens to nominate politicians that will represent their instances in Parliament as it happens in Europe. It is a way for the elite to reframe how the income of the country should be shared. As clarified by Benjamin Godwin on The Diplomat, the Majlis is a forum for the representation of powerful economic and regional interests who lobby for state resources and favorable regulatory changes. Everybody knows who is going to win. An election in Kazakhstan is not about power, power is never questioned. It is about money and who is going to get it. As you can imagine, not the people of Kazakhstan. I'm Understanding Politics. Thank you for watching.